the attribute I've developed most is my, um, my engagement with knowledge, um, just sort of generally. Um, I've really had the opportunity to engage um, in a variety of great broad range of theories and epistemologies and at the same time I've been able to de develop quite deep interests in particularly in feminism and post-colonialism. Well I've, I've also greatly developed my written communication skills um, which were somewhat lacking before coming to university but the opportunity to write complex essays um, and engage in quite a variety of um, different sort of uh, written challenges has been um, very helpful to me. I've had to write essays, reports, um, uh, briefing papers, uh, short encyclopedia entries. So there's been a great range of um, a great range of challenges. Through preparing for my dissertation, I've been able to develop a global perspective um, in thinking about the sort of uh, I guess particularly through geography um, as a kind of a, a worldwide uh, discipline. Uh, one might call it the global discipline. I've, I've just been able to sort of appreciate um, other cultures, my own culture and the interrelationalities between them. The most recent and relevant module of that description is um, my research module. It's called uh, Geographical Research in Practice, which is quite a broad ranging module in that it covers, um, it's kind of about um, dealing with the theory and, and practice of research. Um, so it started off, um, it's kind of a two-part module that's comprised of, um, of doing a prescribed research project, um, which in this case was for, um, for the East London Citizens um, co Organising Committee. Um, and, um, and that helped me just to kind of understand what the actual process of doing research was about, or social sciences research specifically. Perhaps more importantly, um, the second half of the module offered me the chance to, um, to develop my sort of interpersonal skills, particularly dealing with cultural barriers between um, uh, West or English and Chinese cultures, and also liaising with formal academia in another country which was very challenging, I have to say. Um, it was very difficult to overcome that barrier. It basically allowed me to, um, to demonstrate initiative throughout the project. I had to continuously return to, um, uh, to the research grant application that I was preparing. Um, and while I didn't get the application through in the end, I was able to present a pretty cohesive and, um, and quite sort of ambitious thing um, to the RGS.